everyone, this is Granny Josie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a DIY on jeweled crosses. And I will show you one that I've already finished. And then I will show you a little of the process that I usually do. Now here is the one that I have finished. Hopefully you can see it. Now in the middle here, I have a stone that has a cross in it. And then, to me, the this, this star signifies the Bethlehem star when Jesus was born. And I really love this. And hopefully you can see that in that. I decided to leave some of the wood. To me, it kind of oh, makes the rhinestones and the jewels, you know, actually shine a little bit more. Normally when I do these jeweled, um, well, like when I did my jeweled heart, I usually cover every little piece, every little spot. But on this one, I decided just to leave it. So hopefully you like that. Okay, I am going to start. This one is a lot larger. And it does have a hook. And I, now I won't do it completely because it's very time consuming, but I will show you a few pieces. And I usually use the glue gun, but I also use tacky glue. And if you use, like in this one, uh, the piece here and then the middle piece, I used the tacky glue, but I also left it overnight to dry because otherwise it moves around. So. Today, I will just use the glue gun. And then I'm gonna start with, this is the heart that I am going to, let's see if I can. I couldn't use my tripod. For some reason, I couldn't show it completely where you can see what I'm doing. This is a cross, and I will show you what I do. I just put, now the tacky glue does dry clear, which is a good thing. And just position it like that. And see with the glue gun, it instantly sticks. So if you're gonna use the tacky glue, you need to like do it the night before. And then I'll show you what I'm going to put on the top. The same piece I really like this piece and I am going to put that okay can you see that and none of these are difficult it's just very time-consuming that's why you know purchasing the craft lots really whoops come in handy Excuse me, I dropped one of the pieces. Now I keep dropping jewelry. Okay, so um, this is what I'm going to do down here. And I will glue that there. And I'll show you how that looks. Now, as everyone knows who's ever used a glue gun, you certainly need to be careful because I burn myself all the time. And I probably will today. Okay. And I don't know about you, but I hate all the little strings that you get when you use a glue gun, but you can remove them. No big deal. Like one right here. And see. <coughs> and one thing about the glue gun, you can, if like something's not quite even, you can move it over. Just pull it up and redo it. Ouch. And there we go. Now what I'm 
going to do for the bottom part, I'm going to put this. And I'll show you what I'm going to put over it. This is a little tricky because it's not a solid bottom. But it's not impossible to do. It is not possible. And I hope this will inspire you. Uh, that's really why I'm doing these, because I think they're kind of a stress reliever. And they're fun to do. And I did, if you remember one of my videos, I did put um, the heart in a shadow box. Okay, this one doesn't, I don't have enough glue. <coughs> okay, all my strings. Oops. Kind of have to work with it a little bit, but this one here is, now your solid pieces are not difficult like this one, but I liked it and I'll show you why in a minute. And I've got that on the bottom and I'll show you why. I'm putting this rose on the bottom. It's a, like a porcelain rose. See, I think it's kind of neat. I mean, we all have different tastes, so you can do, and you don't have to use rhinestones. You can use flowers, beads, you know, whatever you want. I also have some of those. I have these red stones. You know, these gold dip leaves. They're actually genuine leaves. And I may uh, put that there. Sometimes you just have to play around with it and see. Maybe the leaf can stand for something. I don't know. Have to just kind of. Oh, and to take the backs off the jewelry, like I have a butterfly brooch here. I do this and like that and see. Let's see. Right. Sometimes you just have to work with it to see where what you think. Oh, could be a butterfly on the ropes. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put it there. And I need to add a glue stick because I was running out of glue. that was a mess up which we all can do I just put the glue in the wrong in the back part I mean it should have been in the back I put it in the front and I should put my glasses on anyway it's that's one nice thing now that uh, tacky glue it wouldn't be as easy to get off especially after it's dried it wouldn't but with the glue gun, 
and just peel it off. Okay. I don't have enough on it. Now, you see, not neat. So, you know, choose any theme that you would like. If you like beads or, like I said, flowers are really being very attractive. And then I have a cameo. Oops glue everywhere. There's a cameo. And then there's this other leaf. I think I'm going to put that right here. Lots of strings here. I think I'll put that about right there. that. I need to put more glue on this rose. That's not going to stay. All the little strings. And then I usually get my needle nose and kind of remove the strings. And, you know, you can make it looks a lot neater after you do that. But anyway, that is just a little bit of it. And I will do another video when I'm all done with this and show you what it really is turned out to be and like I said here's my <coughs> excuse me my finishing touch my finish not touch it's the finished cross I like this this will probably be my favorite but this is kind of a mystery you never know what it's going to turn out to be it might even be nicer than the first one Anyway, I hope this inspires you to do something like this. You know, we all have uh, broken pieces of jewelry that we really hate to get rid of. Unless I do resell um, some of the broken pieces in craft lots on eBay and then on YouTube. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this and you will try it. I would love to see what everyone else can do. So... How about if we do a challenge? I challenge anyone who wants to uh, do a cross or a heart and, you know, put it on my Granny Josie's shop and we'll see how many would love to do something like this. It was fun for me. Hope it's fun for you. And uh, Selena has done some and we both really enjoyed this. So I'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.